Dr. John Gray once titled and authored a book that would serve as, in my mind, one of the top ten books on the practical differences that come in a marriage. What's the name of the book? Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. You know, in the latter days, I've found myself communicating uh, with all sorts of people uh, locally and uh, touching base with people I know uh, across the United States. And the, lately, the first thing I seem to be asking uh, them, and really they ask me this, maybe not in this question, but it, it is kind of the same thing. What question is it is, what planet are you on right now? These planets I'm referring to aren't the given names like Mars and Venus, Earth and Saturn. Instead, the planets are names uh, like yesterday, today and tomorrow, or the day before yesterday and in a couple days, and maybe even what planets are you on last week? Is it last week? Is it last month? Is it next week? Or is it next month? Many of you have been to Itasca State Park north of Bemidji, Minnesota. It's where the waters of the Mississippi begin. And if you go there early enough in the, in the warm season, you can yourself walk across the Mississippi River. A while back, my family and I were up there, and, and I remember having a small child next to me, holding my hand, uh, not really sure-footed. I also remember having a smaller child, child on my shoulders. We were going to cross the river together. Oh, and get this. I had one other child a few steps ahead of me, and she was of a concern for me as well. So there I was, barefoot, walking across the headwaters of the Mississippi, with my feet on the rocks that may or not may not be stable, depending uh, every step you took. And also, given uh, those those rocks that were home to really slippery algae that made their surface uh, again slippery. As I look back, I'm not sure I did the safest thing. As I look back, I, I think I could have done this better. And as I look back at the days that have passed, I can honestly say I feel like I'm walking across the Mississippi's slippery rocks with a steady flow of river on one side. What planet are you on? Is the topic of toilet paper, uh, does it make you laugh or are you done with that joke? Does the idea of staying home kind of seem like fun or already have you a little upset? Does the stress of childcare and homeschooling uh, literally make you smile or fret? What planet are you on right now? Is this going to be over tomorrow, next week, and then this summer? Amidst all the uncertainty that we may face, there's one thing that is for certain. God is our refuge. God is our strength. And God, our refuge and strength, sent forth his Son into the world, this planet, to bring hope to the hopeless and peace to the disturbed. As he led Israel across the Red Sea, why he has and is leading us by faith, walking, guiding, embracing us every step of the way. What planet are you on? One for which Jesus has come to restore. Amen.